Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Gel in Gel Nail Polish Starter Kit. This is a kit I purchased off of Amazon. It retails for around like $70 to $80. I will have it linked down below just in case you're curious, but this kit is one of the many that they sell on Amazon. And the price ranges of these gel kits start from anywhere of like $20 upwards of $100. So it can get very pricey and I wanted to do a thorough review on this. I had filmed this before and it was going to be like a first impression and in that video I included a demo but I will include the like little portion of the demo video in this one but I wanted to make it more thorough and not just be like a first impression. I really wanted to review this kit because it is pricey and I know a lot of us especially moms like if you can do your nails at home save a little bit of money and not have to be worried about like what you're going to do with your kids for like an hour like a gel kit is really handy for you or just if you never have time to be in a nail salon then you know a gel kit is the way to go so I wanted to try and be as thorough with my review as possible. I wasn't too happy with like the demo portion of the video. It was my first time kind of like filming a nail video so it didn't turn out that great but I will include snippets of it throughout this video and I also do have to say even though I am a life since cosmetologist nails were not my specialty I am not a nail tech I'm not a nail expert like I know how to do them but honestly like it's not my specialty at all hair and makeup is what I specialized in and so doing this was a little bit challenging but getting right into the kit this is what it looks like when you get it in the mail or like on the Amazon it comes in another box but this is ultimately the product and in here you get two boxes the first one is this and I guess it's not really a box but you know it's this package this is what comes on top and you go ahead and slide it out and it is a starter kit so it does come with a lot and I really do appreciate that but now that I've used it once I realized I needed a little bit more just personally for me uh, so I'll also go ahead and show you guys what I ended up buying to kind of make this kit a little bit better so this kit does come with a lot but I wanted to start off by showing you guys all the nail polishes you get and they are full size like they're a pretty big bottle they're not like minis or anything like that like these are full size normal nail polishes you get a base coat a top coat which is a like shiny top coat and then you also get a matte top coats and on top of that you also get nine different nail colors and I love that it came with nine different nail colors two of those which are like shimmers like kind of like glitter colors which is really pretty I actually went ahead and swatched them for you guys and this actually came in the kit which made me love this kit even more and I actually wrote down the number of the nail polish so when I want to do my nails I know which color goes to which nail polish so here's a close-up of the nail color and when I did my manicure I did go in with this one right here which was 003 that really pretty nudie pink and this kit also comes with a cuticle softener and a cuticle oil and you also get a pair of cuticle nippers and you get a cuticle pusher it did come packaged but since I already used this kit it's out of its little bag but this is a cuticle pusher you also get two different nail files and then another thing for your cuticles and you get the nails or like little toe separators you get a nail brush and you also get these little gel polish remover wipes and they also send you things for nail art which I thought was really cool I'm no expert in nail art but you know I thought it'd be fun to you know maybe give it a try sometime I like that they included this if you are into it uh, I think this is a really well-rounded starter kit and you also get this little like nail art pen and I think this will be perfect to apply these these are like some sparkles they included in the kit like chunkier glitters I guess you could say there's some heart shaped there's some flowers and then there's some bigger like circle pieces this is awesome I think this is so cool there's all sorts of colors in here and this will help you a lot if you're trying to be like super precise and even to apply like sparkles on the nails too like this would be really good for that and they also sent like little tip guides if you're trying to do like a French tip so these would be really 
really helpful. And they also sent over different sizes of these little rhinestones, some in color and some just in clear, and some nail art tape. You could do like really cool designs with these. And of course, the instructions. There's like a little pamphlet on how to do gel nails. So when I was looking for a gel nail kit, I wasn't sure what I wanted. I knew I wanted something in like colors that I would use. So when looking at this kit, the colors did make a big impact on whether I was going to buy it or not. And of course, it had a ton of like nudie pinky tones. So I knew that was something I wanted to spend my money on. But also because of the UV lamp, just because it comes with the UV lamp does not mean that it's a good lamp or that it will cure the nails. I was reading that actually 40 watts and higher is actually what you want to cure your nails. If not, you're going to be sitting there for like two, three minutes trying to cure your nails. And this one that came in this kit is a 48 watt UV LED lamp. So when it came to deciding if I wanted this box or not, I knew I did because the nail colors, everything that it comes with and the lamp, and it also did have really good reviews as well. So that played like a huge impact on me wanting to buy it even more because I didn't want to buy something that was just I like I was going to regret buying and the size of this lamp is actually very impressive so this is what it looks like it does come with a cord that you have to plug into the wall this is the cord and it's actually a pretty you know good length so I mean I think it's pretty good length if not like you can always use an extension cord and it does have multiple settings 10 30 60 and 99 seconds and this is like a little digital reader which counts down the time that you have left I think this is really nice and if you were to buy everything like separately, it would be a ton of money because just the lamps alone can be like $30 and up if you want like a really good lamp. And I just think it's a really good lamp and it's a great deal. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I am no manicure expert like I mentioned and I do feel like it does take time to getting used to. I personally am the type of person that I would do my nails, like if I didn't have time to go to, into a salon, i do my nails and if I got some on like the edges or whatever, I'd be like, oh whatever, if I take a hot shower, it'll come off. <sighs> You're so wrong if you think that will happen if you use this gel kit like if you do that if you get it on your cuticle or outside the lines or anything like that your either whole nail polish will come off or it'll start chipping or you know it, it'll just be a mess like it's not going to clean itself off and when I first did the video like the demo that I'm going to be showing you guys I completely messed up I didn't really I wasn't really patient with it and so the next day I had to completely file them down soak them off with a uh, nail polish remover and my nail nail beds were killing me like they were in a lot of pain so I would not suggest doing what I did and also I feel like this nail kit is not comparable I guess to what I personally am used to at the salon so that's why I did have to go out to the store and buy a couple more things to add to this nail kit so I went to Cosmoprof because I'm a licensed cosmetologist so I can shop there but if I do find these on like Amazon or like on other websites I will link them down below so I purchased this OPI nail polish remover and I also purchased these little wood sticks so when I am doing my nails I can easily clean up the sides without messing up my other hand or you know just messing up my nail even more they do have a very thin precise edge so that'll help me clean up if I do make any mistakes but when working with gel nail polish like you really cannot make mistakes or do not cure your nails until you are 100% sure like you like them because it will stay and it'll just be a mess like you won't be happy with them I also purchased two other nail files I feel like you can never have enough nail files so I purchased two more and I also purchased some nail glue because like I mentioned this to me wasn't like what I'm used to of like the high quality of like a nail salon and I actually broke a nail like very far down right here so I'm actually going to solve that by you know removing these nails 
and well not even nails like removing the gel polish and then using a little tea bag gluing it with some nail glue and then filing it down and then applying gel nail polish on top so that's why I really wanted to get this video out because I'm going to be removing these and I've had this polish on for a week and two days so it's been a while and it's been holding up but like I said it wasn't as like high quality as I thought and the reason I think that is because when I went and did my nails at the salon they actually used and they always do this they use like a polish that makes my nails a little bit stronger and that fill in all the little cracks and ridges and so my nails always feel very strong not, not like acrylic but they're my natural nails and naturally like they're very brittle but with the polish the nail salon would use I always felt like my nails looked great they would never break with gel polish at like any length that I had them I never had trouble so when I did this nail kit I completely forgot about that so I had trouble getting like the gel off like that the salon had done when I was trying this out so I had already hurt my nail beds and after doing that I realized I had that polish on so I had to figure out what that was because it really strengthened my nails and right now like I feel like they're very brittle because I no longer have that on so I think I figured out what it is that they use and this is the gelish structure gel polish in the shade clear and this says it helps protect and strengthen the nails it says fix thin brittle nails you can use it over your natural nails or over any color and this will help and this is meant for strengthening your nails and so I think this is what I am missing to make like my manicure complete and like perfect to feel like salon gel polish because I personally love getting a manicure and love how my nails look when I go into salon so I think this will really help strengthen my nails and not have it so that two of my nails break because the nail on my thumb broke and my middle finger it kind of like chipped off right here so that was a huge bummer so I'm hoping this is what they use at the salon to really help my nails so they aren't as brittle I will update you guys um, in probably another video and let you know like how it works out because like I said this is still my gel polish from one week ago and I mean it's good but I definitely have learned and it was kind of like a trial and error type of thing and I also purchased another gel nail color and this one is actually from OPI and it's in the shade bubble bath which is just like really pretty nudie pink so now I'm quickly going to show you guys the footage from when I did my nails like I said the angle wasn't that great but I just quickly wanted to show it to you guys so this is what my nails had looked like. I had grown them out for around three to four weeks and now I'm going to be removing that gel polish. I'm using some cotton, some foil, and nail polish remover and I'm going to be soaking my nails for around 10 to 15 minutes. But what I had forgotten was that the nail salon had used something to strengthen my nails. So it was going to take a little bit more effort to take off the polish. So I did have to go in with a nail file to file off that gel polish because it really was sticking to my nails and now I'm gonna go ahead and actually file my nails the way I want them shaped I personally like a square shape so I'm just quickly going to file them and now I'm going to be going in with the Sally Hansen instant cuticle softener and I'm also going to be using my cuticle pusher to clean up the nails and I'm going to be going in with a file to roughen up the nail plate and I'm going to be cleaning that up with some rubbing alcohol now I'm going in with the base coat and quickly applying that onto my nails. And I'm going to be curing my nails in the lamp for 90 seconds. And now we're going to be using the gel nail polish. And I actually do three layers of this. So I would apply it, cure it, apply it, and cure it um, three times. I only showed you guys me doing this step once just because it would be a little bit repetitive. But now I'm going to be curing it. And once I did the three layers, I applied the top coat. And I I also went ahead and cured that and now I'm going to be applying rubbing alcohol and cuticle oil onto the nails and that is what they look like so I know I am no expert on nails clearly because in that little demo clip I 
don't do that great but honestly I like some tips I would want like to give you guys is be very careful do not put the polish on the cuticle if you're not a hundred percent on like how it looks maybe clean up the nail before you cure it because once it is cured like it's set because once you put it in that UV lamp like it is not going to budge you're gonna have to completely remove everything if you're not happy with it I would also like to say do one hand at a time because in that clip I was doing both hands at the same time so I would do this hand then the other hand and if I had any little lint or anything it would stick on the nail before I had time to cure it so that was like a huge no-no so do one hand completely and then move on to the other hand I would say like that would work best on my toes I was able to do them at the same time and there was no problem but for some reason when I was doing my nails like I had trouble with like stuff getting on them which causes bubbles causes all sorts of like issues with your nails so that's one like major tip that I would listen to because or at least for me like I had trouble with that so next time I do my nails I will be doing them like one hand at a time and overall I think it's a great kit you really can't beat it you get really good quality things the colors I think are so pretty and I really would like to expand like my gel nail polish collection so if there's any brands or products that you guys would recommend definitely let me know down in the comments and also if there's any suggestions that you guys may have definitely let me know I would love to hear your guys's tips or even product suggestions uh, this is my first time really doing it at at home manicure like this and I mean it is pricey but I think this is worth it even though I did have like a rough start I think with this structured gel I will be getting the results that I personally am used to at like my nail salon so I'm super excited to like continue using this and you know getting better at my at home manicures I'll definitely be letting you guys know how this ends up working out for me so I hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye